Honorable men shook hands in a sign of respect, and Jeff Cobb went right after him with that suplex. What an innovative way to get that uppercut in. Just launched Ali right into the air and almost knocked him out with that uppercut. Oh! He might have, if he didn't knock him out with that uppercut, he might have knocked him out with that forearm. Both guys here, both fan favorites here with an opportunity of a lifetime. Jeff Cobb gets a chance to once again be the heavyweight champion. Meanwhile, Shabazz has his first opportunity for singles gold. And he already talked about it when he made his debut that that was one of his long range goals is to be the AZW heavyweight champion. And he gets that opportunity here tonight. If he's able to win this battle royal, comes off. Look at that strength by Jeff Cobb. Oh! And he just launched him with a judo-like version of a suplex. There's one thing about Jeff Cobb. He's eight. Once he gets a hold of you, you're in trouble, as you've seen right now at Ali Shabazz. And a hard form right to the back. And down he goes. Got some aggression here for Jeff Cobb, showing that he definitely wants an opportunity to once again be the man in AZW, the AZW heavyweight champion. <laughs> Jeff Cobb is putting in the work here on Ali. Jeff Cobb going for that elimination. Here's number three coming out. It's Hard Knocks Harrington. Meanwhile, Shabazz with that splash. And here it is. Oh! Ali got all of that. Oh! And another one to Jeff Cobb. Hard Knocks came in huffing and puffing and got knocked out. He might be out on his feet. Arnox is out on his feet. He's got to try and throw him out here. Meanwhile, Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb with that spinning back suplex. Meanwhile, you got Arnold trying to shake off the cobwebs. Oh. And another suplex by Jeff Cobb. We got three men in. We still got so much people coming in. Another vicious uppercut. And Harnox back up. And you know he's not going to be happy. He was almost taking out it the minute he got in there. We got Ali's on the ground. Meanwhile, you got Harnox and Jeff Cobb in the corner. Harnox reversal. Here comes Jeff driving those shoulder. Oh, and another uppercut. Just as he got up, he went right back down. Jeff Cobb is owning this battle royal right now. We got number four coming out right now. We've had no elimination so far. We got Jeff trying to get Hard Knocks out, but he's trying to get that, get the feet up, but Hard Knocks not having any of that. Oh, he's coming from the gutters. We saw him advance with Kenro Takadoki. Now he's making his entrance into this battle royal. It's Mark Anarchy. I hope he didn't get lost on his way out to the ring. There he is, Mark Anarchy. And what the? That's a sexy Aleki. What's he doing? Oh, and he's taking out his frustrations here on uh, Mark Anarchy.
Look to the post there. Mark tried to fight back here. Meanwhile, Alecki just taking him out. Oh! Alecki has no business being out here. He's not even in this battle royal. The refs need to get him out. Oh! They need to get him out. He has no business being out here. Talk about sour grapes. Can't even focus on the inside of the ring. We got this action going on on the outside. Mark Anarchy, I don't know. He, he's down out, out here. Meanwhile, we still got the three guys. Mark hasn't even entered this battle royal. Alecki, well, definitely taking exception to the fact that Anarchy pinned him in that tag team uh, elimination match to get in the battle royal in the first place. Here's Jeff Cobb coming off the ropes. A vicious clothesline. If you don't think Jeff is motivated to once again be the AZW Heavyweight Champion. Oh, he's coming from Compton. He's definitely the biggest man in this battle royal. Sumito is entering now. Oh, to quote one of the greatest announcers of all time, business just picked up. Sumito taking it out on everyone here. Drives hard knocks into that corner. It's every man for himself. And Sumito, he's no stranger to these brawls. Reversal coming off. He's able to reverse. Oh, we got a double team here. We got Ali and Harnas actually gonna try and work together. Try and get the big man out. That ain't gonna happen, I don't know. Uh oh. He's got a boat. Down they both went. Again, we haven't had any eliminations yet. Mark Anarchy hasn't got in the ring yet. Still kind of walking off that attack by the sexy Alecki. Meanwhile, Hard Knocks hanging on for dear life. Sumito driving the legs, trying to get that, that lower base of Hard Knocks over that top rope. Meanwhile, Ali able to knock down Jeff Cobb with that scissors kick. Sumito taking on the man that was his partner earlier. But like I said, it's every man for himself. And he knows right now Jeff is going with all this momentum. And Sumito, you can see him trying to wrap up those legs, trying to take out Jeff, and Ali's helping him out. Meanwhile, so they turn their attention on Shabazz. It is every man for themselves. Mark Anarchy is back in the ring now, able to continue, but right back out. But he went through the second rope. Got Sumido and uh, Harnas battling in one corner. Got uh, Ali and Jeff Cobb going at it as well. Oh! Arnaz almost went over, able to put the brakes on. Sumito trying to muscle him over. Like I said, kind of interesting to see how, how the, the man from the School of Hard Knocks, Connecticut, fares against the man from Compton, California. And five! Ali just went flying. And Araki, the opportunist, took full advantage of it. And Araki with an elbow drop. Nothing will stop a man like a low blow. Oh! This could be the odds on favorite, Kenru Takadoki! Finally made his way in the ring. And look at him go off. He's walking all over Hard Knocks. Now they're both taking it to uh, Ali. Oh, Sumito. Oh, no, no, not quite. 
We saw what Jeff Cobb did when he picked up Final Solution. I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to lift Sumido up. Would not be surprised at all. Oh, silly string and Ali. Oh, Kenru's going to be in trouble now. Sumida just choking the life out of Kenru Takadoki. Mark Anarchy just breaking every rule in the book here. Kenru Takadoki has been eliminated. We're down to five. Oh, Mark went off with a springboard, got caught in midair. Up and over goes Anarchy. Kenru's trying to get back in the ring. Down to the, I don't know, I don't think Anarchy's, Anarchy's still walking it off. Oh, and Ali went over hard there by Jeff Cobb. We're down to the final four. One of these men are going to be competing for the AZW Heavyweight title right here at the Philcom on August 27th at Summer Brawl. Wait for that fine head scissors. Caught in midair. Oh! Folded anarchy right on up. Harnox is hanging on for dear life. I would be too if Sumido was trying to throw me over the top rope. This has got to be one of the most hard hitting battle royals in AZW history. You can see people are not walking off, they're getting carried off after they get eliminated. They're just showing you what they want to do and what they're willing to do for that opportunity. No! <laughs> oh, look at that strength there, just picking up Anarchy. Oh, and he almost got him over. Anarchy hanging on, hanging on top. He's hanging on. Oh, and Mark Anarchy has been eliminated. Oh, no, look at that. Harnox just eliminated Sumido. Oh no. Harnox took full advantage of the situation. Now we're down to the final two. We got Jeff Cobb and Harnox. What an opportunity lost here for Anarchy as well as Sumido. Meanwhile, you got Jeff Cobb and oh, Harnox here going toe to toe. Taking that full momentum. Jeff has been a house of fire throughout this battle royal. Look at that, he's got him up. Look at that strength I'm talking about here with Jeff Cobb. Amazing. F5, oh, Harnox put up the brakes. Harnox almost out, he's hanging on. Meanwhile, oh no, and he's out.
What a bad run. What a finish. Jeff Cobb with all that momentum. Hard Knocks took full advantage. Took that opportunity to low bridge. Put on that top rope. Jeff's momentum took him over. What a performance in a battle royal. But the winner and the new number one contender, Hard Knocks Harrington. what it's all about right there, the tag team titles. <laughs> PPT back together again. Like I mentioned, former three-time tag team champions have a chance to make history, not for two different things. You got a chance for Kaimana here to be the first man to ever hold the AZW Heavyweight and Tag Team titles at the same time. And meanwhile, as PPT, they got a chance to be the first team in AZW history to wear the belts for four separate occasions. There's a time, and Antivalu making his return. He was out for almost a year because of Invincible, and he wants nothing more than to get his hands on those two guys. And you can see Antivalu is fired up. And the Phil Collins Center definitely behind Antivalo and PPT here. Starting things off is Kaniala. We saw Antivalo's singles return against Kaniala, and he made short work of Kaniala. And he defeated Kaniala in less than four minutes. But the tag team titles was not on the line. They are tonight. PPT, they once held the AZW tag team titles, the longest of any team. Over a year they held that title when they first won it. Went on to win it two more times. Now again, a chance to win it for a fourth time tonight. <laughs> Antivalu showing he hasn't lost a step at all. Kaniala with a goal behind. Antivalo able to reverse it to the arm. Got a control of it. Controlling all the control with the wrist. Kaniala breaks that up with the knee and he takes the arm himself. Nice roll through by Antivalo right to the side headlock. Showing that that knee is working just fine. Manek claims to be the pioneer of Hawaiian strong style, showing just why here. And I think he just might have woken up the sleeping giant. And he did. And he did again. Oh, and Kanya quickly got out of that to tag in the knockout Corey Oliver. And you think Corey Oliver wants to get in there with Atibalu? I don't think anybody would want to get in the ring with Atibalu right now. He's the war horse. Duck under. Corey Oliver trying to use that quickness. And when, smart move there by Corey when, uh, when ramming the head didn't work, he went right to the eyes. And then he got knocked down for his trouble. Got a chance to talk to PPT prior to the match, and I can tell you right now, I can, Antivalu and Kaimana, this is a special moment for them. Very close, behind the scenes. These guys are like brothers, and they've held the tag titles, and they want it again. And again, this is Antivalu's first match back since he's getting taken out by Invincible. So a lot of emotions running high in this one. There's a heavyweight champion in the ring right now. He can't be thinking about hard knocks. He's thinking about those tag team titles at the moment. But that's one of the dilemmas he's gonna have to face. 
if he ends up walking away as a dual champion. He's got to worry about both the tag titles and the heavyweight title. Not many can do it. But Kaimana said he's going to prove everybody wrong. And he'll be the first man to do it. And do it successfully. And with kicks like that to the side of the head. I believe him. Spine buster. Leg drop into a Boston Crab here. He's cranking down on it. Connelly got some of it. I don't think he got all of it, but he got enough of it to break up that uh, submission. So far, Ativalo not showing any ring rust for being out so long. Like I said, he did get an opportunity to compete in singles competition at the ESPN Sports Festival. And what a return it was. Corey kicked out, but with a little help of uh, Kaniala there. Adivala sends off Corey Oliver. Here goes Kaimana. Here goes Ativalu. Tag team specialist. Oh! And they haven't lost a step at all. Pick it up right where they left off. Into a cover. Kanda able to reach over and touch someone right in the eyes. Corey Oliver, you got to think he wants to make that tag right now to Kaniala and get out of there, get out of harm's way. And he does so. Takes Kaimana right into the corner of Kaniala. Got that double team going on at. There it is. These two, Kaimana, Kaniala, former tag team partners in their own right, long time ago, going at it. To that rock bottom. Oh, if you're gonna break up a pin, that's how you do it. With a palm thrust to the chest, shoulders. <laughs> Spine buster with authority. Tries to cut off the ring, going for that figure four. Going for that submission here. Oh, there we go. Look at that tag team. Look at that. Getting an added momentum. There it is again. Makes a tag. They definitely got Kaimana, the champion, isolated. And they're working on that knee. And you can see... Kariala signal to Corey to target that very knee of Kaimana. And you can see right there, going to work on him. Tying him up in that submission. And he's going to put the feet right there on the... Oh, he's got him. Version of the death lock. You got Kaimana trying to power out. That's one of the most painful submissions in wrestling. He's got the AZW Heavyweight Champion in trouble, but he's able to get it out. I think uh, Corey saw that Kaimana was making his way to that corner and uh, broke the hold to stop that uh, forward momentum. Well, Kron not, not really appreciating Corey Oliver. And that's what you get. Perfect flex into the bridge. He's got the hands class. That's how you break up a pin, folks. That's going to leave a mark.
Kane Alabak in a ring here at Kaimana. 